Hello everyone, Jopke here from the Netherlands and today I'm going to participate in the challenges of the art journal prompts. Uh, for me this is the first. Um, I haven't participated yet in these challenges but uh, it seems like fun so uh, why not. Um, I'm working on a piece of watercolor paper which is a size A5 and I'm gluing down some printed tissue paper uh, I got in Happy Mail from Anya. And also I had a bit of scraps of tissue paper lying around and those will be added as well. Love doing these kind of challenges. I'm participating in a few uh, now already. That is the Mission Inspiration. The pick a stick challenge, the mixed media morsels. Oh, um, here I am adding um, a few pieces of book text as well with a Mod Podge. And I really love these challenges because um, I can do them at my own pace. I don't like time limits at all. So, um, yeah. You can join in with these challenges whenever you like and just pick a challenge that you like at that time and do them. You don't have to do them in order and you can post them whenever you like. And um, so, yes, really love these challenges. Now I am applying a layer, a thin layer of gesso to my page. And this is a homemade spray um, and that I am uh, adding with a baby wipe for a very light blue aqua uh, background color and this is an image I uh, printed out I searched for the internet for some images that would fit my theme normally uh, I would not use uh, images of people not often really uh, but this girl, uh, it was more of a painting really, uh, more of an illustration than a photo. And um, yeah, so I liked it very much and it suited my theme. So so I'm going a bit in a Violet Socks direction again because I am very much inspired by her work. And um, so this is another collage piece. I am trying to make um, a, an art journal page of and I found myself some scraps of printed paper and I'm gluing that all down with the Mod Podge. The bird you see uh, on my desk is also printed out from the internet and I recolored that a bit in uh, Photoshop to make it match uh, the photo of the girl and everything is glued down with a mod pouch. So yeah, these challenges, I uh, really love them and um, mainly because also uh, they, because they help me to break a blank page. Um, I'm really not that girl, not that kind of girl that can sit and wait for her art to come out. No, that's not me. I need some inspiration and I like to follow some prompts so I can start with the page and um, then usually uh, the rest will follow uh, automatically. But I really love working with prompts because they help me to break uh, the page. So what I just did on my page is use some gesso to uh, go uh, over the edges of the photos and the pieces of paper I printed, uh, I put on the page to make them more, um, to, to blend them more uh, in, in with each other. And now I am stamping with a few stamps of Finnabear. And again, I'm going in with some acrylic paint this time, a white and a a skin tone color trying to uh, mix the right color to try and blend 
uh, it, the images more uh, together. So I will leave you a link to the Art Journal Prompt Facebook group because they also have a Facebook group uh, so you can see for yourself. Uh, this will be my first entry, as I said, so I'm very um, happy to play along. So here I am trying to um, make the dress, uh, to finish the dress of the girl, because uh, the photo didn't show uh, all of it. So I decided that I wanted to try and paint uh, the, the bit that was missing from the dress. And I'm doing that with different things. I use the, the spray, the ink spray that I used before. I use some acrylic paint. I use some Faber-Castell artist pit pens in a few colors and um, some black acrylic paint and uh, really don't know what I'm doing but uh, well in the end it uh, turned out quite okay so that uh, and now she has a finished uh, a dress and it, it isn't cut off halfway so uh, adding some more detail with the Faber Castell artist pit pens to make to give it uh, also a bit of a painted effect so it's not so so obvious a photo and because she well the only I, I'm very happy with this page but the only thing I regret doing was adding that tissue paper of the tree right on top of her arm I thought once it would uh, dry you would see her arm uh, more but it didn't uh, but yeah it's stuck now so I can't remove it and um, trying to paint the uh, arm back in the photo that was I a bit too difficult I wouldn't uh, didn't want to take the risk of ruining my page so well I did try to uh, um, create the scarf she held in her hand. Adding some more bits and pieces, I have a few circles that I cut out from uh, scrapbook paper and uh, the prompts for week one of the art journal prompts was uh, one word and you had to choose a word uh, that would um, represent present your year of 2017 kind of and I chose the word well actually it's two words let go because I'm not very good at that so I need to work on that and that's my goal for 2017 and uh, but the word is uh, in Dutch loslaten which is one word uh, so I thought it would be okay let go. Outlining everything with some Faber-Castell artist pit pens and a water brush and um, that's a green artist pit pen and finally I'm about ready with this page. Uh, I'm adding inking the edges with an archival ink and also we'll do some splatter uh, with the white acrylic paint. So this is really my second collage page. Oh, my third maybe. I did the one with the, with the elephant as well. But um, I'm quite happy how this one turned out. Uh, so um, yeah, as I said, check out my description box because I will leave you a link to the Facebook group of the Art Journal prompts so you can join in if you like um, and for the last step I'm adding a, the date with the stays on yet black ink pad 
but um, that kind of went wrong so I'm recovering the date with a micro pen very thin pen and that's it for my page today so hope you liked it uh, guys and uh, hope to see you very soon again bye bye